this is uh, Sam Gayshack with Independent Processor, National Provisioner Magazine. I'm here with Chuck Kicken and uh, Katie Blick White from Cargo Protein. So, uh, could you all tell me a little bit about what you're showing off at the sh at the annual meat conference this year? Yeah, so the, the Cargill Protein booth uh, this year is all about uh, being fueled by Insight and how we're partnering with our customers and really trying to be a strategic supplier and help them grow their business. And we're showing some really cool things this year, some new products, uh, some, some recipe applications with our chefs, and I'll let Katie talk about some technology that we're bringing that we really think is going to help partner us with our customers uh, and help them grow their business. So one of the things we're featuring in the booth today is augmented reality. And so there's a couple different applications. One where we can showcase how we're using on consumer packaged goods in the meat case, but also just a way to get more information on our products that we're showcasing. So I'll just show you how. So you can walk right up here, zap the code. And we'll be able to look around and rotate the packaging. So this is the product that the chef is cooking up for us right now. This is our Korean barbecue beef starter kit. It has a sauce, a protein, and a pasta. So it's all ready to go within 20 minutes. You can click more information to get the nutritionals. Some consumer insights behind the product and also some category information. Oh wow. This is very on trend. We just came back from a session earlier today about how important, uh, how fast uh, the media meal kit uh, sector right. is growing. Yes, so right. This definitely hits that. Yeah. And so I can go over here and show you how we're using it for uh, consumer packaged goods. As well. All right. Let's go check this out. So one of our uh, one of our brands that's really capturing the Hispanic audience is Arumba Meats. So if you, this is our digital meat case where we're displaying our product. So very sustainable way to show up and showcase our product. Mm -hmm. um, so you see the zap code right there. So again, you're just going to hover over. And this is going to unlock more of a gamified experience uh, for consumers because we know that, that the way that they're interacting with uh, augmented reality via social media, uh, it's more like Snapchat where it's going to be a game experience or it's going to be a filter or things like that. So you have to keep it very engaging for them. And one of the things our Roomba brands um, very much about the authentic flavors. And so in our new marinated products, you're not going, you're going to see those authentic flavors come out in the recipe mm -hmm. or in the nutritional panel. So it's going to explain, can you pop them all? So these are going to be floating ingredients that are coming down and you just pop them. So this is something a consumer would be able to do and kind of have some fun with around the brand. Oh, fun. You can rotate the camera, so you're videoing me. <laughs> I'll meta. And all we right. can be popping this. And we can also take a picture and you can share it via social media or you can save it to your camera. Wow. So uh, Chef Steve, why don't you tell us what we got here today? Okay, so we're featuring two dishes. One's a meal kit, so it's Korean barbecue beef with uh, udon noodles and a really nice Korean flavored barbecue sauce. And another one is a, a turchetta. It's our version of the Italian pork henna, but it's a bacon wrapped turkey breast. We're serving it on a corn bread pudding with a pork belly and apple gravy. Oh, wow. So it's, uh, it's an easier execution for Thanksgiving anytime you want. Okay. I'd be remiss if I didn't get a picture of this. Yep. And I'll uh, play one for you. I'd be happy to do a little turkey as well. All right. Yeah, this is worth putting the camera down here. So I will uh, stop recording and get some samples here.